Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone to our latest video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to import the writing portfolio assignment package. You should have received an email from the testing unit with either English 101 or English 102 writing portfolio assignment package in a zip file. Now this file or package contains the four writing unit assignments set up with the due dates and timeline within Blackboard as well as the rubric according to the testing unit um, set up in Blackboard as well as we are going to show you the gradebook setup that we already set up for you with the writing portfolio unit assignments. So let's get started. So you're going to log in into your Blackboard homepage. And here you're going to click on al Wajibat or Assignments. And you'll notice there, there isn't any folder or there aren't any folders here. So good. So now let's scroll down to Packages and Utilities. Select Import Package. Click on import package button here all right this is the course id of your section click on browse my computer to select the package either select english 101 or english 102 right. click open so if i'm teaching 102 i'll just upload the 102 zip file if you're teaching English 101, then upload the English 101 zip file. Okay. Click on Select All. Scroll down and click on Submit at the bottom right corner of your screen. All right. You're going to see a message here that it's waiting and it's running. And it will complete. All right. Please ignore this since I've already done many... Uh, um, imports but you'll have a complete package so if you go here and go to Wajibat, you will notice the folder is here now English 102 and you'll have the four writing assignments according to the pacing schedule now you notice that they are grayed out because we set the availability to be hidden until they've completed the unit assignments All right. Or they, they completed the unit um, in the course schedule okay we have the option to edit by clicking here you can make it unavailable or you can click edit or you can change the due date we do not recommend you changing any of these settings since we have already set this up for you um, we added the unit assignments as well as the rubric the due dates the rubric according to the level that's built in and the availability all right. and the option to track the number of views all right you can change these settings and this for this purpose i'm going to um, uncheck this first option so i can show you from a student perspective what it looks like okay so i'll click submit here now if you notice um these Three assignments are still grayed out, but this one is now available for students. So let's look at it from a student perspective. So go back to your home page. Click up here where it says student preview. Alright, the students will have this page. They go to Al Wajibat assignments and they'll be able to click on the folder and then they'll be able to see the first writing assignment. You notice assignment two, three, and four are still hidden. All right. All the student has to do is click here on the assignment. They can view the rubric by clicking on it. All right. Um, they can download the unit assignments right here. Um, remember, the unit assignments have been updated by Oxford, as well as the rubric if they want to look at it. So let's click here for the unit assignment. And there you go. It's new. Right. 
Um, English 101 has been uh, completed with new uh, test with new writing uh, questions. All right. Now the students has the option of clicking uh, or writing the submission within Blackboard by clicking here, write submission. They can type in their paragraph. It has the built-in word counter. Or the student has the opportunity to just uh, click browse my computer and they can upload their word or PDF or picture of their writing assignment. Okay. Um, and then they can add any notes or comments they want to send to their teacher. The student has the opportunity to save the draft. So if they write their assignment and then they want to save it and continue working on the next day, they can do that. It will not be submitted to the teacher until they click on submit. So please make sure you tell your student that they need to click submit in order for it to uh, be sent to their teacher. All right. So let's go ahead and click cancel. We will provide video tutorials um, with more details on how to correct students' writing in Blackboard. All right. Um, and just to show you another thing. Um, we're going to show you. Uh, let's save. All right, we uh, we're just removing the settings here. Uh, let's go back to uh, the teacher's uh, page. Let's scroll down, and let's go to Grade Center, and click Assignments. Here, you'll be able to see the students' names and the four writing assignments already set up, and it's. As soon as the student completes and you grade the assignment, the scores will show up here as well as the total. All right. Um, you have the option afterwards to um, download the file, which you can send to the testing unit when they ask for uh, the report of the student's scores. You don't have to write in the student's name and their ID number. It's all set up here with the four writing assignments. And as soon as they complete the assignments, there will be a total writing portfolio assignment column here automatically populated once they complete one of their assignments all right and again we will show you uh, another tutorial in depth um, when you need to learn how to write or correct students writing all right so again um, let's go back to the home page and like we said before you must import this writing portfolio unit assignment package so that students can view their writing assignments and the rubric built in into Blackboard, as well as teachers um, can view the students' scores in the Grade Center. Thank you for watching this video tutorial, and we look forward to our next tutorial soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.